a lot of people are scared that whatever they're studying here in Finland in school they might, not, they might not be able to land a job in that profession when they graduate and that's why many people go into nursing registered nursing because they believe that that is the only profession that they can find a job in hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Golda and i am a chemical engineering student here in finland i'm also an electrical engineer so uh one of the major problems that people face here in finland after graduation is finding a job in the field that they studied in most times people go into nursing because they believe that that is the only field that you can find a job in when you complete from school Probably they believe that maybe uh, engineering fields or business fields or other fields you might not be able to get a job there and nursing is easier and that's why everyone is like okay I'm going abroad to study nursing well I have been staying here for two years now sorry one and a half year now actually I'm in my second year already and I have been able to work in two companies that are related to my field as an electrical engineer and these are the tips that i took in order to work in those companies so firstly one of the major things that i leveraged on was networking i believe that networking with people in the industry that i was interested in is a step ahead for me to get into those companies when i arrived in finland my major ambition was to work in my field of profession as an engineer and given the fact that i'm doing two engineering careers chemical engineering and electrical engineering i knew that the combination was amazing and i knew that i would not want to end up after graduation without having a job in my field and so i had to step up and try to look for ways in which i can build my career while stay in school and that is why i made use of i made use of networking Networking was a great process for me that I had to take because I knew that that was the easiest way to work in the field that I was studying in school. So I had to network with people in that field and whenever we have events, then I try to like exchange contacts. I go on, I follow their LinkedIn pages on LinkedIn and try to get information from there whenever they have probably training programs or job, uh, job application maybe for internships or anything like just to get information about uh jobs and everything that is going on in those industries so i try to put myself out there and also leverage on networking at any chance i got that was the first easiest way for me to be able to get a job and this is one of the best way for you to get a job in finland networking once you know someone who is in that field that you want to work in it is more easier for you to get a job there and it serves as a clear channel at least you're one step ahead with other for uh, with other efforts that you may put in maybe i will research, say maybe your application or your cv and other skills you'll be able to work in those companies the second very important step i took was to put myself out there when you know what you want and you set a target for yourself you would definitely do everything possible to get there and so i didn't limit myself to jobs that are not in my field of studies i had to put myself out there in any program that is related to my field of studies why because i believe that if you are studying in school and you try to build your skills in your field of study by working in the professional fields then after graduation it will be easier for you to get a job in that profession so i had to try and put myself out there by first attending events and secondly any opportunities that we had in our school to visit companies maybe for tour I always make sure that I participate in it and when I get to those places I try to ask questions and make them notice me I know that I am there I am in the room make them notice you and also try to like exchange contacts in that process let them know that you are available I mean try to like put yourself out there by speaking up asking questions participating in activities that 
that just to make sure that the people in the company know that okay this person is there well, it, you might no no you might get a lucky uh, you might get some lucky from there and maybe you get an opportunity to work there or maybe an internship or anything related to your studies you never know where the opportunity will come from so you have to put yourself out there that is the second step if you really want to work in your profession and not only in finland everywhere you have to try to like put yourself out there and then maybe you can get lucky and you get a good job from there next thing is that you you don't have to, in as much as you're putting yourself out there there will be a lot of challenges challenges like maybe you want you might apply for jobs and then you receive a lot of unfortunately yes trust me i receive a lot of them too you receive a lot of opportunity and that should never stop you from applying just keep applying as long as they are companies as long as you haven't gotten a positive feedback yet from any of those companies keep applying yes keep applying and just one day you'll be able to have the opportunity maybe from a company you never know and they might recruit you so that's that's one thing as you're putting yourself out there also try to keep applying to companies in your field of studies making sure that you try to put it as a priority that okay if i'm coming here to study or maybe work in a process or maybe work after graduation in my field then i should be able to build some skills and also build my cv in the process by taking up internship roles and also going through training programs if you have the opportunity attending events and participating in any activity any activity possible that is related to your career you start building your career right from school that is the first step you don't build your career when you graduate you build your career when you are in school by building your cv and so that after graduation you will have a lot of experience and you won't really have that much of a problem facing recruiters out there where they'll be complaining that you don't have experience in the field that you are applying to. So it is very important that through the course of your studies, your first year, your second year, the holidays you have, you try to apply to programs that are related to the field that you are studying that are related to the field that you are studying so that you gain skills in that process before you graduate and you believe me that is a step for you to build your career in the process and you kind of be, you really stand a chance for you to get a job in your field of studies when you graduate rather than someone who wasn't doing anything or maybe was working out of their career in other fields that are not related to their career and then probably at the end of the day they graduate and they are looking for jobs in their career and i just feel like many people will mostly complain about the fact that they cannot get jobs in other fields except nursing because first in a nursing field you are given the opportunity to go for internships in hospitals while you are staying in school and in that process they give them the opportunity to build them their skills and they also give them the opportunity to build their cv in the process so it's easier for them because the school put it as a mandatory thing for them to do but in other professions it is not mandatory for you to work while you are still in school and that is why it is kind of really difficult for other professions to work after school and kind of easier for nursing students to work after school or yeah or any other medical fields to work after school this is this is because of the fact that they were not able to build their career while they were still in school or why yeah why they were still studying don't be scared of taking opportunities i yes i have actually witnessed a case with someone i know that was kind of really scared to take opportunities to apply for a role because they feel like they are not eligible for it they haven't gathered enough skills to apply for those positions and they feel like they are not eligible for it yet and i think you should be bold enough be bold enough to like try to apply for those jobs nobody is going to beat you or nobody is going to do anything to you if they see your cv and they say you don't have those skills so if you just try even if you are still in school and you are still trying to like build 
your skills and build your you don't you have zero experience you have zero skills in your cv and you are still trying to build your career still apply for internship roles apply for those roles that will help you to build your career despite the fact that you don't really have those skills in your cv don't be scared to put yourself out there when you see job opportunities you never can tell in those job opportunities you might be given the opportunity to actually work there and you have someone who will supervise you in the process and then you will be able to like build your skill in the process okay like i just believe that no one ever no one became an expert without actually doing something so you must always start from somewhere and probably while you are still in school that is the time for you to start it mustn't be when you have you have gathered a lot of skills and probably you see someone who have a lot of skills and you are intimidated that oh wow this person have skills and i have known so i shouldn't apply i shouldn't waste my time no just keep applying and you might be lucky enough to get the position you might be lucky enough and as long as they haven't accepted you just keep applying keep applying until you get accepted like i mentioned before and attending events is very important and this is it in finland we usually they, they usually give opportunities for professional events for example this year we had the coca -Cola, last year sorry we had the coca-cola uh, coca material week and in that event we had um, professionals from all many industries in Coca-Cola, almost all the industries in Coca-Cola that came there to talk about their company and what they do. And also like they gave presentations and we had a lot of companies that were there. And that was an opportunity for anyone that attended that event to be able to like, you know, network with them because we had the opportunity to also talk and network with people i mean that was part of the program to exchange contact cards and talk to companies that are related to your field so in that process you'll be able to like tell them that okay i am this person i study in this university and i'm studying this i really want to have the opportunity to work in your company or to carry out an internship in your company or to work as a trainee during the summer uh, uh, job or during the summer can you please give me the opportunity is they, and is they, do they give opportunity for students i mean like try to like find out if as a student you stand a chance to be able to get a job in that company during the summer and most of them have open positions for students in your field of profession and you need to apply as soon as possible and most times application starts by december and then ends in february march so when you have a profession application that opens in december you start applying from then apply to as many companies as you can you keep applying to as many companies as you can in your field of profession and even if you are receiving unfortunately no problem at least you tried and you'll be fulfilled that you Put yourself out there you try to put yourself out there and that's a step forward being bold is another important thing language alone is already a barrier for some professional fields in finland and if you are able to communicate in english then you have to be bold enough to communicate fluently in english at least to show that you are someone that is capable of communicating even though you don't know the Finnish language very well you are capable of speaking fluently in English and you are bold enough to like try to talk and socialize with people so there are a lot of people that maybe they can succeed to pass through the application phase and you go for interviews some people back down because they are scared to go for interviews they are scared to speak up they are scared that they might make mistakes they are scared that oh what if they don't choose me or they are scared to face people uh, i don't know but i feel like you should be bold enough to even step into that room in the first place and try to speak up 
most times they just ask you things that they just want you to be honest enough to be able to tell them what you know and there's nothing wrong in making mistakes in the process of an interview you must not be perfect i have also attended an interview one time and when in the course of me answering the questions that were being asked to me during the interview i actually forgot a few things there was a question that was asked to me and i actually forgot about the things that were being asked and i was trying to recall and then i felt so frustrated at the time and then at that moment the, inter the interviewer told me that it is okay for you to make mistakes okay to forget it is okay just be honest enough to be able to like express yourself for the things that you know and the things that you have done as an experience if you don't have any experience so far it's okay for you to say okay right now i am just starting my career and this is an opportunity for me to be able to like try to learn some skills in this field so that i can build up my skills in so 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 and i don't think that most people when they hire students uh, during summer they they know that you don't really you are not a professional you are someone that is still in school so they don't really expect a lot from you and most times when they hire you it's because they want you to also gain the experience in the field so you should also try as much as possible to be bold enough to communicate like be confident enough the way you communicate during an interview or the way you communicate during networking or whatever you find yourself in it will give you a lot of chances for you to be recruited by a recruiter and someone might just recommend you based on the way you are being bold someone can just recommend you to a company and other things Another thing is taking the language seriously. Yes, taking the language seriously is very important. Finnish language can be very difficult for many of us as international students. But then in the process, if you really want to work in Finland, then I think that basic Finnish is a necessity for us to learn. So taking the language very serious is another step for you to learn a job after graduation because in your field of studies, because it will at least give you an upper hand over someone who knows just english and doesn't know how to speak finnish so if you have if you really want to really work in finland after graduation in your field then you should also try to like learn the language in the process of your education take it seriously at least to know basic finnish for everyday communication and lastly i would like to say that if you really want to learn a job just i have summarized everything to summarize everything then you should put yourself out there you should attend events you should try to network you should be bold enough be bold enough to speak up and try to learn basic finish at least basic finish thank you very much guys for watching this video from beginning to end if you love contents like this please leave a comment on my comments section then i'll be sure to like try to make content that is also share my experience as a student who has been opportunity to maybe take part uh, in training programs and also work life in my field of studies if you love contents like this leave a comment below and i'll be sure to make videos like this subscribe to this channel so that we'll keep making videos like this and i hope that this video was helpful enough and inspire someone out there to be able to put themselves out there and apply for jobs in their field of studies while in finland thank you for always watching my videos and see you guys in my next videos bye